Hello folks, uh, I've made some improvements on this motor. One is that now you can see this uh, bearing holder. And these are needle point bearings and you can adjust it with this screw here. So you can uh, change everything there. It's still the ironless coil, it's running on 1.2 volts. Let's have a look at the waveform. It's a lot better now. And if we expand this out, you can see the chatter in the read relay, which shows up right here. So if I put a piece of metal there, I can straighten it out. But uh, it has to be very small. I can also use a magnet. You can see the ring extending out. So if we take the storage scope and we go back, and freeze frame that and then open it up you can see the ring out here this is where it hits the diode so the spike has been stopped with this diode right there it's very quiet and very smooth running and it runs down to about seven tenths of a volt so next I'm going to put an iron coil in there and do the same thing again. But I just wanted you to see this, uh, this new bearing holder. There's an Allen screw that it has been bored out with a V-notch. And the nut holds it stable. And the same thing with this 1032 screw right here. Um, and then the nut on the top right here so that once you get it adjusted you just lock it into position and it seems to stay there there's a little bit of oil in this cup down here so that the bearing can ride on that but it, it's pretty smooth operating you can see and this is nylon so we just give it a little spin there and you can see it's pretty delicate and she just gets right up and goes you can also watch that on the scope so let's back it in here and you can watch it here pretty stable motor so thanks for watching